Good day everyone! As a continuation, we would be turning our focus to qualitative research. Contrasting its counterpart, qualitative research seeks to undercover the depth and complexity of human behavior and experiences. By prioritizing words, observation, and sometimes visual data, qualitative research grants us an in-depth understanding of our research question. Please take note that this is just an overview on qualitative research. I would like to start today's discussion with this quote from Sir William Bruce Cameron. Not everything that can be counted counts, and not everything that counts can be counted. Please take this in mind while we go on to discuss qualitative research. So there is a need to discuss the philosophical underpinnings of a qualitative research. Qualitative research focuses on the understanding of participants' perspective and experiences, operating under the belief that reality can be subjective. In this approach, realities are elements perceived through our five senses and shaped significantly by individuals' thinking process. By using direct quotes and words from participants, researchers can highlight a variety of perspectives, illustrating the diverse ways individuals interpret their realities. In the context of qualitative research, epistemology refers to the nature of knowledge and how researchers come to know what they know. Qualitative researchers operate under the belief that there is no one singular absolute truth. Instead, they acknowledge the existence of multiple realities or truths. These truths or understanding are subjective and deeply intertwined with their context. That means what may be true or real in one context may not be in another. This is because individuals' experiences and interpretation of the world is unique based on their personal experiences, cultural background, beliefs, and values. This inherent subjectively means that Different individuals may perceive different truths or realities from the same situation. In qualitative research, the context is, ve is very important. It is essential. And the researchers aim to understand this context and how they shape the individual's interpretation of reality. As such, qualitative research is often exploratory and interpretive, seeking to understand the why and how of, an, of a phenomenon rather than just the what. This understanding is achieved through methods such as interviews, observation, and textual analysis, allowing researchers to delve into the complexities and nuisance of human behavior and experiences. To define qualitative research, it is a strategy of systematic collection, organization, and interpretation of textual, visual, and or audio information. Qualitative research have different types. To start, the first type is known as phenomenology. It describes the common meaning of several individuals of their lived experiences of a common concept or phenomenon. An emphasis on a phenomenon to be explored phrased in terms of a single concept of idea. To greater understand this, here is an example. This is a study by Engberg et al. entitled A Phenomenological Study of Nurses' Experiences About Their Palliative Approach and Their Use of Mobile Palliative Care Team in Medical and Surgical Care Unit in France. So their method is the use of individual in-depth semi-structural interviews and focus group discussion among registered nurses in France. This included 20 registered nurses from different hospitals in France to participate. The next type is ethnography. It developed a complex and complete description of a group, a culture sharing group. Study, this is a study of social interaction, behavior, and perceptions. It describes the ethnographic experience with thick description. So this is an example. Ethnographic research among drinking youth's culture, reflection from observing participants. This type of researches are common among anthropologists. In grounded theory, the intent is to move beyond description and to generate or discover a theory, a unified theoretical explanation for a process or action. 
the key idea here is to generate or to be grounded in data from participants. The next type is a case study. It concentrates on exploration of a case by looking closely on the influence of social, political, and other contexts. Next type is qualitative evidence synthesis. This is a systematic review of qualitative research. This is a combination of research findings of two or more studies to form a new knowledge. A higher type of qualitative research is meta-ethnography. Synthesizing qualitative studies by making a whole into something more than parts imply. It uses the concept of translation of evidence. The last type is known as realist synthesis. Rather than asking what works, it focuses to ask the question, what works for whom in that circumstances and why? Synthesizing evidence using a context, mechanism, and outcome configuration. Now, let's go to mixed method research design. Now, let us differentiate mixed method research design and, qua and quantitative qualitative research. Mixed method research design, uh, this approach intentionally integrates and combines quantitative and qualitative data and prioritizes the integration during the process of research. It's a specific design with a clear structure where the researcher uses both methods to answer the research question and these methods are designed to complement each other. The goal is to draw a more comprehensive conclusion. For instance, a researcher might use a quantitative method to analyze numerical data and then use qualitative method to further explain or interpret those numerical data. In qualitative quantitative research, or vice versa, this is a less structured approach where a researcher might use both methods independently of each other but within the same study. The two methods are used to answer different aspects of research question and there is a less emphasis on integrating the findings. For instance, a researcher might use a quantitative method to understand how many people have a certain behavior and qualitative method to understand why they have that behavior but not necessarily link these findings together. So we need to understand that not all quantitative qualitative research can be a mixed method research design. There, there is a need to integrate both the quantitative and the qualitative data. So, in summary, the main difference lies in the level of integration of the two methods and the purpose for using both within the same study. Mixed method research is a specific design with an emphasis on integration, whereas quantitative qualitative research, the two methods may be used more independently. We have the convergent parallel design, which integrates the quantitative data and the qualitative data at the same time. The next type is explanatory research design. Explanatory research design is used in health research when the phenomena or health outcomes are already known, or these are the quantitative data. And the goal is to understand the underlying cause or factors contributing to this outcome. For example, researchers might use this design to investigate why certain population have higher rates of a particular disease by understanding the why researchers or researchers rather can develop more effective interventions to address these health issues. On the other hand, exploratory research design is used when there is limited information about a health issue or condition. For example, if a new disease emerges, Exploratory research could be used to gather initial information about the symptoms, which are the qualitative data, risk factors, and impacts on patient health. This approach provides foundational knowledge that can guide future research and inform early public health responses. So that ends the discussion on the different types of research design. So we have discussed the different types of quantitative research, qualitative research, and the mixed method design. Thank you.